not all bundles in rise of kingdoms are created equal some of these bundles are actually horrible value and your money is much better spent elsewhere and also the daily special offer has more commanders in it now than it's ever had in the past and the last time that i made a buying guide for rise of kingdoms was in may of 2022 it's been over 500 days since i talked about what the best bundles are in rise of kingdoms and right now we have halloween coming up followed by thanksgiving Christmas and New Year's so there's going to be plenty of different opportunities for you to potentially spend money in rise of kingdoms so today I wanted to update my buying guide for rise of kingdoms in 2023 but first what's going on guys cheers now I need you guys to ignore the pimple that's on my lip for the remainder of the video and pay attention because we're going to start with something really important and that is that this video discusses spending money in a mobile game games like rise of kingdoms are extremely fun but there are a ton of different ways that you can spend money in this game and it's pretty much unlimited you can spend as much as you want and look I spend money on rise of kingdoms and there's nothing wrong with spending money on a game that you find entertaining but please promise me you will spend responsibly in this game it is a mobile game after all do not spend money that you don't have do not go into debt over rise of kingdoms I would much rather see you guys invest your money in stocks or even just putting it in a savings account account or using it to take your family out to dinner right these are things that I think probably should take priority over spending in a mobile game so please spend responsibly but before we even talk about which bundles you should be buying we first have to talk about when should you actually be purchasing bundles in rise of kingdoms because there are a few events in rise of kingdoms that come around occasionally that will give you bonus value for spending money that you wouldn't get otherwise and it comes at no additional cost to you so you literally get more for the same amount of money that you would be spending and three events come to mind for me the first of which is the recharge rewards event the second of which is the gem rush event which is very similar but it's more of a a new event and then finally we have the bounty of the ancients now the bounty of the ancients comes around when you are in kvk but these three times are when it is the most valuable for you to be spending money now the recharge rewards event is very popular and typically you get a total of 30 legendary commander sculptures by making purchases throughout the five day event but you have to recharge a certain amount of gems each day and your progress does not carry over to the next day so you want to get 2500 gems for one day and then 2500 the next day if you do 5000 all in the first day then the second day resets back to zero okay so it actually you want to spend only a little bit each day instead of a whole bunch on the first day but if you do you're going to get really really good items like skill resets for example which I've talked about a ton on this channel but you really want those for your Joan of Arc Prime or your Guan Yu for example and of course legendary commander sculptures but the gem rush events and the bounty of the ancients event are actually different you can spend however much you want all up front and you'll be able to unlock all those milestones because instead of a daily limit to recharge or a daily quota there is a cap and you'll unlock all the different rewards now the gem rush event is actually really good if there is a commander that you are working on at the time of the event coming around which right now there are so many commanders in the game that there is a good probability that there's at least one that you really care about the reason that players like the recharge rewards is that the universal legendary commander sculptures can be used on future investments okay so you can actually save those sculptures for a commander that isn't even in the game yet so for example six 12 months from now if there's a new meta breaking commander you could be saving those sculptures over time and then dump them all into that commander so the gem rush event uh, does give you a ton of insane value but it's only for commanders that you already have that are already in the game so keep that in mind but regardless I think for most players both and, and even bounty of the ancients they're all really good opportunities to make the purchases that you normally would be making or that you may consider making and these events typically come around obviously See bounty of the ancients is for kvk but the other two usually come around with big patch updates that have holiday events in them which is why i'm making this video halloween's coming up i suspect we'll find either gem rush or recharge rewards 
same with Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's. Okay. So spending during those events gets you more value than spending during any other time of the game. But what should you actually be spending on? Well, the first thing that I want to talk about is the growth fund. Okay. And for 1499, you are going to get 81,000 gems with the single caveat being that you have to hit city hall 25. Now, the good news is that you don't have to purchase this and then hit city hall 25 you can actually wait until your city hall 24 you're about to upgrade to 25 you buy the bundle boom you get everything that you passed on the way there and then once you hit 25 boom you get the 40,000 at the very end which is obviously half the value of this comes from hitting city hall 25 so you definitely want to buy this if you know you're going to hit it okay and to put that into perspective okay the wagon of gems here is 50,000 gems and that's only because it's a first purchase bonus and that's 100 dollars okay so 81,000 gems for 15 dollars is easily some of the best value that you're going to find in rise of kingdoms and that is enough gems to literally go into the wheel of fortune and spin it to 100 okay which is really good because this is how you're going to get a lot of sculptures from commanders that you really care about and you're going to be able to get all the milestone rewards along the way as well now of course you don't have to spend those gems on the wheel of fortune but for those of you who are wondering like what's the easiest way to get a ton of gems for the wheel that's going to be your number one way obviously you can only buy this one time because it's an insane amount of value so if you only have 15 dollars to spend you probably should spend it here the next thing we have to talk about is the 30-day gem supply now the 30-day gem supply gives you 2200 gems right away when you purchase it but you're going to get a total of 19,500 gems for 10 us dollars so it's a little bit cheaper than the growth fund obviously you get much fewer gems but you can buy this every single month okay so every month you're getting 20,000 gems that's really good value again 25,000 gems is a hundred dollars so for ten dollars you're getting almost as much it's amazing it's a no-brainer for anyone who's a very low spender in the game the 30-day gem supply is like the number one thing that like if you're buying nothing else that's the one thing that you should be buying i kind of see this as like a netflix subscription to rise of kingdoms every month i spend ten dollars minimum just to play the game because you get so many gems for this that it's it's amazing the other cool thing about the 30-day gem supply is that the 2200 gems that you get from from buying the bundle counts towards your recharge rewards okay so if you need to hit that 2500 mark and you don't want to spend a ton on multiple bundle tiers okay you could buy this and you're almost all the way there also whenever you buy it it adds 30 days to whatever you have remaining okay so let's say that your 30-day gem supply runs out in six days but there's a recharge rewards that shows up you can buy this still even though your previous one isn't over and it's going to just extend it from you know instead of six days remaining it'll be 36 days remaining it just adds it on to the end there okay so you don't really have to time this perfectly with these events uh, you could buy it kind of whenever you want as long as you know that you're going to obviously continue playing the game and logging in to claim your gems and that's the only downside of this is that you have to log in to get it okay so you have to log in every single day but the value is there it is amazing you definitely want to get this if you're a low spender next we obviously have to talk about the writer of history bundle okay this is a bundle that actually pops up it is a limited time bundle you only have one hour to purchase this when it first shows up in your game i think it's only one hour and this will show up any time that you summon a brand new legendary commander in rise of kingdoms okay so there is a limited number of these that you can actually get because there is a limited number of legendary commanders that you can summon now the good news is that they're always releasing new legendaries so if you ever miss this bundle then you could always get it again it comes around and you could buy it every single time that you get a new legendary commander but for five dollars you get 10 legendary commander sculptures that are universal and you also get 1050 gems which is typically what you would get for a five dollar purchase plus you get a couple of other things here that don't really matter that much i guess the gold stars might matter in the early game for you same with the uh with the experience but really just the 10 sculptures here alone are worth the five dollars and so if you ever collect enough sculptures of a legendary commander to summon them i would say do not summon them unless you know that you're definitely not going to buy that bundle or you need that commander for an upcoming fight right like if if kvk is today and you know you need to max out nevsky right and you want to summon him and max him that day 
then first of all, you, you probably like messed up somewhere along the line. You probably should have been spin the wheels and do whatever. But my point is, if you need the commander to fight, then you have to summon them, right? But if you can wait, uh, I would just not summon like like right now, if I have enough sculptures to summon Genghis Khan, there's nothing that I'm going to do with him, right? I know I'm never going to use him, so I might as well just save him in my inventory here. So that way, when I am able to spend that five dollars, boom, I summon Khan, the bundle pops up, I spend the five dollars and I get really good value out of that. In the same vein as that is the Vanquisher bundle. OK, this is the same exact concept. It is a pop up bundle. It's 499 and it only happens when you combine 30 blueprints of a legendary piece of equipment that you've never had your hands on before so this bundle is even more rare than the writer of history bundle because there's just fewer pieces of legendary equipment in the game and then there are legendary commanders that you might get your hands on i also feel like i get blueprints slower than i get commanders but i don't know but regardless this is absolutely a bundle if you can afford it you definitely want to buy this every time that it shows up it's for legendary material pick one chests those are really hard to come by as well as a bunch of materials and gems definitely 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 really good value and the last thing i want to talk about for some of the best value in rise of kingdoms is the lucerne scrolls okay now this is essentially the battle pass in rise of kingdoms okay and it's seen a lot of improvement over the years and a lot of different changes we've seen 33 of these okay this comes around I think it's every single month there's a new Lucerne Scrolls if I'm not mistaken actually no it's every five weeks it looks like so I was wrong also sometimes there's like a day or two or three days in between Lucerne Scrolls so it is what it is we get like I don't know nine or ten of these a year okay so you could see it's been going on for a long time but the value here is insane okay there's two different things that you could purchase there's a five dollar bundle which literally just unlocks this bottom tier and then there's a $20 bundle which unlocks it and it gives you 10 levels of progress and also it gives you 50 percent more progress for each challenge that you complete now obviously uh you don't actually get more value out of the $20 bundle it just makes it a lot easier for you to progress through now the only exception to that that you could argue is that you'll be able to progress much farther past level 50 and that will give you the chance at getting these chests and in these chests you could get something good but really I would not bank on these on these chests being very good because as you can see here most of the time you're going to be getting some amount of resources purple sculptures purple stars like experience tombs like most of the stuff is garbage there's only a three percent chance of getting 500 gems these chests really aren't good they're really not good okay so do not bank on these being great all you really need to do is hit level 50 to claim all the rewards so if you are active and you're playing the game every week and every day and you're making your progress then the five dollar bundle you're good to go okay if you're running out of time and you really want to finish this then you can buy the 20 dollar bundle but i would say most people should only buy the five dollar tier and also it's worth noting that you could purchase levels right so each level is 750 gems um if you're like one level off before it's about to end you could possibly gem it okay um don't do that if you're running low on gems that's not actually a good idea and you should not get into the habit of doing that but if you need to then you can do that and you don't have to spend the 20 dollars, okay uh, and also you don't have to buy this at the beginning right you could literally be as active as possible for the five weeks and if once you hit level 50 then you can buy this bundle and boom you just unlock everything in the bottom tier okay which is really really good now the rewards here do change okay sometimes you see things like legendary commander sculptures sometimes you see the re-release chests for specific troop types you also obviously see some amount of armament or formation choice chests here we get um lately we've been getting the uh, gathering equipment pieces which isn't great but they do typically cycle in other things also like ash of the dawn is really good right so getting this is amazing getting 30 fragments right away is beautiful okay that is like best in slot for cavalry which is just amazing so this is really good value for five dollars um I would say try to get this every single time it comes around so the five things we've talked about so far are s tier value like that is the best 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 value and if you're going to spend on anything in rise of kingdoms 
that's what it should be okay now we're going to be entering into like the a tier these are like really good value but you really you're, you're looking at spending a little bit more money here okay first on the list here is holiday events okay holiday events come around typically once a month or every other month whenever there's a, a big holiday okay and there will usually be a bundle that coincides with some event that is happening in the game okay the event that we're looking at here wintry days this is an extremely old event i think this was like 2019 2018 something like that okay but basically you got some amount of ornaments and you could use these ornaments to decorate the tree in the event in the game and as you progress the tiers of the tree and you level it up you get new rewards okay so not all holiday bundles are created equal sometimes they give you a premium holiday currency that you can use to exchange for legendary commander sculptures and typically the value there is about a thousand gems per sculpture which is really good value I would say that's like the value you should strive for you want to spend at least a thousand or fewer gems per sculpture if you can that would be considered the best value and the reason that I'm putting this so high on the list here in terms of value for you is because first of all typically these come around during the recharge rewards okay and usually they give you about the same or better value as other comparable bundles in the game but you can usually get a reliable amount of legendary commander sculptures during during these holiday events as a result of buying those bundles okay now of course it depends on the event and sometimes you can just grind your way for all of the rewards like if it's a 7k gem event then you probably don't need to spend during that event right but there's other events where like it's a it's an alliance based event and things like that and sometimes it's worth spending on the holiday events so always check to make sure that if there's a holiday coming up is that bundle going to be worth it usually it is now outside of the holiday bundles the king's coronation bundle which you can see right here this is by far the best super value bundle in the entire game and you can only ever purchase it one time at every single tier okay so there's a five dollar tier ten dollar twenty fifty and a hundred I don't even know if you could buy the hundred three times or not because it's literally been years since I purchased this but the value from this bundle is insanely good it is way better than any other bundle that is standard in the shop so keep that in mind if it's your first time maxing a bundle and there's no other holiday events or anything going on max the king's coronation bundle it is really really good okay next up we're going to talk about a few different bundles that depending on your progress in the game could be considered a or s tier but for other players they might be considered a lower tier value so this is really going to come down to where your account actually is but let's start with the daily special offer okay now for a lot of players this actually could be an s tier value honestly considering how cheap this is it's five dollars every single day okay and you could even just buy the treasure of courage for one dollar per day and you can stack up these uh these chests right for one dollar but you can choose which commander's chest you're actually going to to get now if you don't see these commanders in your game that means that you haven't progressed as far into the season of conquest as I have but this is sort of like the right now the this is everything that you could possibly get okay there's no newer commanders than what you see here but there are quite a few commanders in in this daily special offer okay um so really what is the best value here right like some of these commanders are meta right these are insanely good commanders well first of all YSG is an insanely good pick okay he has a five target circular AoE insane skill damage and for the early game he is one of your best choices really your best choice for archers and moving into late game end game season of conquest i would say a lot of players have replaced him with juge leong for the best archer pair but if you're running two archer pairs you're still using ysg at least in my mind i don't see why you wouldn't so i still think ysg has insane value and insane longevity in rise of kingdom so his choice is really good second to that is William okay William is incredibly good value in rise of kingdoms especially because he is basically finished at five 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 one okay if you can get him there you're Gucci you're golden you don't need to expertise him he is perfect the way he is at that level and the fact that you can buy him from the daily special offer is just it's so good okay he is definitely one of the best open field cavalry commanders in the game right now I would say Nevsky Joan is obviously the best right now but if you're gonna run two Cav pairs then obviously William is going to be in there at least at the time of recording this video he has not been power crept out of the game 
beyond that Guan Yu obviously this is another no-brainer okay with the implementation of Liu Che I would say that you could either run a Guan CPO as your number one infantry army or if you're going to run two infantry armies you're definitely going to still be using Guan CPO and then Liu Che with Sargon those are like the two infantry pairs that I think are exceptionally good right now and so most players are probably going to be using Guan Yu at some point right now or into the future I would say those three are like your three best options okay um if you've already maxed them or you've got them at a good spot right like Guan is 5155 you do not need to expertise Guan okay 5155 is perfect but if you're still looking to buy the daily special offer beyond those uh Nebu is a really good choice I would say a lot of players are using him in a second um Archer March right you could do Nebu YSG if you have nothing else a little bit old but it still has insane skill damage output which is nice it's all aoe trajan is also another really good one the fact that you can buy him from the daily special offer he's one of the best if not the best supportive commander in the entire game right now he's getting to be a little bit old considering how just how much damage output the new commanders are doing like it's actually insane but trajan is still really solid and finally if you're gonna run like three or more infantry armies first of all i would say why but second of all you probably want to have alex somewhere in there maybe okay so alex might not be a horrible pickup here from the daily special offer uh, you could also maybe make the argument for Artemisia, although I think her time is definitely uh, definitely dwindling a little bit more than some of the others on the list. The next thing that we're going to talk about is some other things in the Supply Depot. Now, if you aren't a T5 player, if you haven't unlocked Tier 5 units yet, the 30 day research supply is actually really good value. Okay. For $15, you get 270 hours of research speed ups. To put that in perspective, the fountain of wisdom for $5 gives you like 12 hours. Okay. So for $15 to get 270, that is an insane amount of value. And it's really going to help you progress towards the progress of your tier five units. That's over 11 days of speed ups for $15. And some of the later, um, researches do take like 70, 80, a hundred days. Okay. Depending on like what your research tech is when you start it and the runes and all that stuff, but you're going to need hundreds of days of speed ups for your research. Okay. So like this is insane value. If you need it, if you're tier five already, then obviously this is useless to you. You don't need it at all. So keep that in mind. The value of this really depends. But besides that, the seven day speed up supply is almost as good and it's also cheaper. Okay. So the seven day speed up supply, this gives you 52.5 hours of speed ups. Okay. Which is good. And by the way, you also get gems for these. Okay. You get 3000 forged gems for the 30 day research supply. So like, like from a gem perspective, it's also amazing. This you get 1050. Okay. And 52 and a half hours of universal speed ups right it's universal completely it's in the form of five minute speed ups to put that into perspective okay the king's coronation for five dollars we just talked about how good this is okay you get 12 hours of universal speed ups for five dollars okay so like it's a no-brainer if you're gonna log in for the next seven days and you know it this is way more speed ups than king's coronation okay so like definitely if all you care about is is speed ups then do it um, the downside of these bundles is there's no VIP points, right? So that's kind of a bummer. You're not getting any uh, re resources, right? Which is something else that you get from King's coronation. So keep that in mind. There's other things that the other bundles give you, but from a strictly speed up and gem perspective, this is insane value. And finally the seven day material supply again, no brainer. The amount of materials that you get here in the form of choice chests is insane value. You also get gems here. Okay. You're going to get way more materials than if you were to buy like the geared up bundle for five dollars 140 green materials is way better for five dollars than 30 of the gray materials and then a handful of like resources and a key like from a five dollar perspective this is infinitely better if you don't care about the resources so again this is also insanely good value if you've bought a lot of the things on this list already in this video and you're looking like where can i get some squeeze some really good value out of five dollars like these two bundles right here depending on what you need are beautiful and the final thing that i want to mention here is the new world bundle at the five dollar and the ten dollar tier okay anything beyond the ten dollar tier for new world is really not that worth it in my opinion or you like you if you need it you need it it is what it is but if you are the type of player that migrates often or you anticipate needing to migrate in the future which 
for a lot of players that is the case you will migrate occasionally okay uh, you might not think you will but there could be leadership that quits the game your kingdom could go into civil war after you lose a couple of kvks like you never know what could happen okay so you want to make sure that you've got passport pages in case something bad happens and the five and ten dollar tier for, for new world will give you the best value for those passport pages now if you don't ever see yourself leaving you're in your home kingdom that you're going to stay in forever then of course this is not good value do not buy this okay but it's worth just mentioning here because this does reset every 30 days instead of every day and so like you want to be aware of buying this if you think you're going to need it that way you can buy it every time it resets and then you have to wait 30 days again okay now let's start to get into a little bit of the whale territory okay let's start to talk about some of the bundles that really you like we've already covered hundreds of dollars worth of things so if you're and if like if you're spending at this point in the video you're definitely at least a mid spender okay that's kind of how I see it in my mind and a lot of these could also be situational okay so for example if you're a brand new player and you're a dolphin or a whale the city of hope might be something that you consider buying okay you might just want to literally speed up to city hall 25 you just want to get there as fast as possible well great news this is the bundle that gives you building speed ups so like this is going to be the best value for you in the same vein as that is fountain of wisdom okay if you've already hit city hall 25 and you are going to push for tier five units fountain of wisdom is the bundle that you should be buying you're going to get really good value out of the research speed ups here okay but those are two early game whale bundles that like be past those points you'll never buy them again okay i will never buy fountain of wisdom i will never buy city of hope there's no point for me as an end game player to ever buy those bundles next up is call of the ancients okay and this is really decent value if what you care about mostly is training speed ups and healing speed ups so that is late game end game players who are really just focusing on waging war and having as many troops for the battlefield as possible this bundle only comes around when Ark of Osiris comes around in your Alliance so it is semi limited and I think you can only buy it for like two or three days and then it disappears again until Ark of Osiris comes back so when this bundle does come around it is something to consider buying if again you're a late game well who really cares mostly about troops and the gems that you get from this next we have the greatest Warriors bundle and this bundle only appears for a limited time when we have the Holy Knights treasure event which is also known as the golden egg event and what you'll notice right here is the geared up bundle and the greatest warriors bundle is actually identical if last time i checked it is identical to the geared up bundle with the only difference being at the 100 tier you can buy it three times instead of just once that you can buy the geared up 100 tier so really it's the same value as the geared up bundle on the way to 100 but if you're looking to max out that final bundle then the greatest warrior is just a better option for you okay now obviously this should go without saying that this because we're talking about maxing a bundle and spending hundreds of dollars on just a single bundle this is like for the whales okay so keep that in mind this bundle is for those late game players who are really focusing on getting more legendary equipment for their commanders i think this is you know if you're gonna max purchase a bundle for that purpose this is going to be the one so i think it's at least worth mentioning here next up we have the armament bundles okay here you can see that we have the armamaniac bundle and the weapon whiz bundle now the armamaniac bundle it's golden so that's how you know that it's better okay you could also see that on the timer we have only three days and four hours left so the armamaniac bundle is a limited time bundle whereas the weapon whiz i think is around all the time if i'm not mistaken but you could see obviously you get an additional formation choice chest four versus three for the same price uh the difference here is uh actually not in the speed ups i don't think but you actually get um some gold in the armor maniac bundle uh whereas you don't get any gold in the weapon whiz bundle but in exchange you get more of the other resources so keep that in mind i think most players care more about gold than anything else so really the armor maniac bundle it's limited but it's probably a better value for you if you care about armaments for just formation choice chests obviously armor maniac is the better one and these two bundles i don't even know if i've ever bought these bundles to be honest with you these two bundles are for the late 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 game whales like you've already maxed out your equipment like you've already maxed out a commanders your tier five everything like this is for the late 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 game whales so obviously i saved it for the end of this video because most of you aren't aren't here yet right a lot of you are still working on equipment working on commanders uh, and that's what you should be focused on so um save for the armor maniac if you are that late game whale 
otherwise uh the rest of the stuff in this video should be sufficient for you anyway guys i hope this video was useful for you when planning out how you should be spending in rise of kingdoms and if you should be spending in rise of kingdoms because like i said at the beginning of the video it is a mobile game so please spend wisely and responsibly and if you made it to the end of this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it while you're down there let me know are you free to play or have you spent a little bit in the game and if so which bundle uh, was the one that made you want to spend in rise of kingdoms while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video we are so close to 60 000 subscribers which is insane so thank you guys so much for all the support and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace